Here are the steps for a vital signs assessment. The first steps you're going to do is when you're going into a patient's room. These intro steps are, you'll be knocking, provide privacy, so this could be closing the door or pulling the curtain, introduce yourself, ID your patient. This will include the patient's name and their date of birth. You'll do hand hygiene, explain the procedure of vital signs, raise the bed, lower the rail, and don gloves, though this is an optional one. The next step is you want to clean your equipment before use on your patient. The equipment includes thermometers, a stethoscope, a pulse ox, and a blood pressure cuff. You want to make sure you clean all of these pieces of equipment before using them on the patient. Next will be your temperature vital sign. You need to ask a question before you do the vital sign on your patient. You're going to ask, have you had anything to eat, drink, smoke, chew, or exercise in the past 15 to 30 minutes? If the patient says no, then you're able to take their temperature PO. Next, you will apply the probe cover, and then you're going to instruct your patient where you're placing this thermometer, which is, I am going to place this in the posterior sublingual pocket on either side of the frenulum. Then you will place the thermometer under their tongue and take their temperature. And then you can document their temperature. Next is the heart rate. When you're assessing for heart rate, you're going to palpate their radial po pulse, which is on their wrist on the thumb side. You're going to count their pulse for one full minute, and then you'll document that. The next vital sign is respiratory rate. You're going to watch their chest rise and fall or listen to their breath sounds and count that for one full minute. The next vital sign that you will be counting is blood pressure. First, you need to ask if it is okay to use their right or their left arm and if there's any reason you can't do a blood pressure on the arm you're about to do it on. Then you will palpate the brachial pulse and apply the cuff. This is the pulse that's inside the bend of the arm. You'll place your stethoscope over the brachial pulse once your cuff is applied. And then you'll pump up the cuff to 180 to 200 and you'll slowly release the air of the cuff. The first sound that you should hear from your stethoscope will be the systolic sound. And then the last sound right before the sound stop is the diastolic. Then you will document. Next is oxygen saturation. You will place a pulse ox on the finger and you'll read the saturation percentage, not the heart rate. Normally there's both on your oxygen saturation measure. And then you'll document. Lastly, we have one more vital sign and that's pain. You will ask your patient from a scale of zero to 10 what they would rate their pain. You also need to explain this scale. So zero means no pain and 10 is the worst pain you have ever felt. If the patient has a pain above zero, you need to have follow-up questions about the location, the quality, the duration of pain, etc. Once all of your vital signs are completed, you need to clean all of your equipment again. That equipment includes thermometer, stethoscope, pulse ox, and blood pressure cuff. And then you need to perform your exit steps before you leave the patient's room. So this will be asking if the patient needs anything, giving them their call light, lower their bed, raise their bed rail up, and remove gloves if you wore them, hand hygiene, and then exit the room.